Hey guys, how are you? This is your host Chandan Kumar from www.vfxreddit.com. Hope you have enjoyed Diwali and Chhat happily. It's been quite a long time to see you guys, around uh, two months I guess. Uh, I had some uh, personal works I was busy with. I shifted my house from south extension to east of Kalash and uh, there were some more works I was messed up with. So right now everything is over. I'm back on the track and uh, today I'm gonna present you a very uh, exciting and important video tutorial on advanced tracking and uh, and uh, this tutorial will uh, show you the use of tracking feature of a great tracking software Mocha uh, and have a look uh, how this footage has been uh, tracked and see the result and you may see uh, these tracking points I made with the black sketch pen and by the way uh, I shot Jent one of my students for this shot who is pursuing his BSc in VFX from Picasso Animation College Mathura Road New Delhi and see uh, I made a cut uh, mark 2 on his uh, cheek and uh, see how it is going with the footage very well and why I need to go to some other tracking software you may ask um, you see if I try to track this footage uh, make the rotation on and uh, and I place uh, both of the tracking points at the relative tracking marks and uh, if I and if I uh, analyze the motion of the tracking points you see that these points don't follow the tracking reference marks because the footage may be uh, blurry or the reference points are uh, not clear that's why I needed Mocha so let me tell you about the process from the beginning so uh, let's uh, drag the footage into a new comp uh, you don't have to do anything uh, here now uh, let's move uh, towards Mocha. So this is the Mocha software made by Imagineer system. This is a great tool. This is a great software indeed for uh, tracking uh, and stabilizing the footage. So let's start and uh, click on new project and import our uh, motion source footage. Oh, um, it is trying to save on my existing uh, file. So, so let me rename it. Um, it's uh, okay. Then click on next. It is uh, good for now. Here you have to mention about the frame rate of your motion source footage. My clip is uh, shot on uh, 24 FPS. So that's why I am uh, choosing 24 FPS from the list. It's okay. Uh, now it's time to uh, track the footage you may see uh, these little tiny tracking dots I made with this sketch pen so now uh, click on this uh, X spline tool and make a spline around the dots on the face try to give some more uh, vertices uh, these will help in tracking um, a good amount of tracking dots always uh, give a good tracking result try to adjust the points a little bit now click on this uh, perspective option it is very important to make it on since uh, it will track in uh, perspective also you will see uh, the area of what I am going to track by this mat option you may see a grid also now everything is okay uh, now press this uh, track forwards button Mocha is now tracking the footage you may see that uh, this span has stuck on the face and uh, it is following the movement very well. So let's give some uh, time to Mocha to track the complete footage and meanwhile I play with my one year old son Neil. Oh I'm back and now uh, this footage has been tracked nicely 
and uh, if you want to see how mocha tracked then uh, let me uh, insert a mocha logo uh, for reference um, and you can see that uh, the logo is going with the footage very well let me make a logo off now I'll uh, export this tracking data to After Effects and choose this uh, After Effects corner pin data and then click on this copy to clipboard option now uh, move to After Effects and uh, just make a null layer here select this uh, null layer and press Ctrl V to paste the tracking data from the clipboard and you can see that the null is going very well with the footage now um, I import this uh, wound image taken from internet scale it down a bit and try to fit in the area pick the paint tool and uh, make a mask around the cut mark now try to adjust the cut mark it's good uh, now it's time to give uh, some feather I think it's good now play with the blending modes until you get your uh, desired look shift plus and minus on the keyboard are the hotkeys to toggle between the blending modes now uh, make the wound layer as the child layer uh, of the null layer and uh, by doing so you may see that uh, the cut mark is going very well with the footage as it is following the null layers position data it's perfect now you may see these uh, little tiny tracking dots you can get rid of these uh, points too so let's make the cut layer off and uh, double click on the footage to open in the layer panel and I will clean these tracking marks with this uh, clone stamp tool so pick this tool and uh, make the duration uh, constant and uh, now try to uh, remove these dots hold alt key on your keyboard and uh, take the sample and remove the marks it is as same as in Photoshop once you are done go to composition save frame as file and select the output as the TGA save the file as a face on the desktop and uh, ok now uh, click on render and uh, now import that saved face.tga file from the desktop I drag it into the comp now let me delete the paint effect given on the motion footage now uh, impose this face dot tg layer above all the layers and try to down the opacity a bit to see the back layer also now pick the paint tool and uh, draw a selection around the uh, marks increase the opacity value it's time to give some uh, feather around the marks so press F and uh, so press F on the keyboard and give some feather let's say 8 it's good now uh, if you need to uh, now uh, you need to make uh, this face layer as the child of the null layer by doing this you may see that this masked face layer is going with the null layer and hence you don't get any marks anymore now uh, you can place this uh, wound layer above all the layers and hence you get two things first a face without tracking marks and the second a face with a cut mark now I show you a magic try to animate the opacity of this cut mark and uh, hence you get a nice healing footage you can get this kind of effect by uh, animating uh, mask opacity also 
So give some uh, keyframes here and uh, animate the opacity value and hence you get a very nice healing footage. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial very much. Do write me if you want any specific tutorial. I'll try my level best. So keep watching www.vfxrider.com and do remember this is me, Chandan Kumar from vfxrider.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.